After that, I became a chief of staff in the New York State Assembly. I introduced, uh, I got to write legislation with an assembly member. It's a really cool job if anyone's looking for one. Uh, I do recommend jobs in government. They're a lot of fun. You get to learn about the process. Uh, one of the jobs I got to work with is uh, I was online and uh, anyone know Carl Malamud? Yes, no, maybe so? Yes. So uh, Carl does a, a bunch of transparency initiatives. He does resource.org, public.resource.org and a couple years back he proposed doing an open source tax credit. So a lot of you are business owners and have LLCs and things like that so you can deduct your costs, but a lot of open source developers are the kind of person who has a full-time job and then they go home and they work on adding a product. Maybe they moonlight doing graphic design and they like making uh, pretty pictures and they're using uh, GIMP, Graphic uh, Image Manipulation Program, uh, that is what GIMP stands for. It is not a dirty word. It is actually a great word. A lot of us love that program. And so they'll add things. They'll use their software. They'll go to conferences. And there's no way to do a tax deduction. So we wrote a tax deduction bill for New York where people like that would be able to deduct training costs, uh, server costs, you name it, that a normal business would normally be able to do. Uh, it's named the Open Source Tax Credit. RMS is pissed about this. So uh, if you guys see RMS, just tell them it's the free or open source tax credit, but uh, it, it is what it is. Uh, we also try to rethink government. So we spend hundreds of thousands, if not millions a year on voter registration. So all of you guys have registered to vote. Uh, voter search, one of the big things we've learned is a lot of people are misregistered and it's because of data entry errors. And what we realize is instead of having to deal with data entry errors, if we let people just enter in their own information online, we could do electronic registration. So we did that bill. That's been reintroduced this year by Assemblymember Kavanaugh and Senator G uh, Gianaris, and we're looking forward to that hopefully becoming law. That's something I'll be pushing for uh, if I get elected. Uh, one other thing is, as soon as I left government and I left being chief of staff, uh, has anyone ever seen their elected officials' voting records? Yes. So in 2008, you couldn't look up your city council member's voting record? you couldn't look up your assembly member or your senator's voting record. You couldn't even tell if they showed up to work that day. So I don't know about you, but a lot of us work at jobs and how many of you have jobs where you could just not bother showing up to work and still get paid? Okay, so the only people who've raised their hands in the room are the folks who run their own business. But the reality is if you didn't show up to work, uh, I know that if you did not respond to an email from Carlisle Capital within an hour, your boss, Sharon Goel, gets a call about the fact that you're being unresponsive. And I don't know what happens at BrainLink when you get in trouble, but I do know that usually within five minutes after calling the boss, things are taken care of. <laughs> so uh, we put the attendance records, we put the voting records online, and a couple of elected officials lost their seats. A couple of elected officials in Queens so all of a sudden there was accountability. The thing they did in response was they spent however many hundreds or millions of dollars taking this software that we just gave them for free, replicating it. But now you can go online, you can see the voting records in the city council, the assembly, the senate. This isn't legislators doing it. This is a guy, help from friends like Raj, and uh, actually a guy named Tom Neal. And Tom Neal, who is our lead developer, we actually gave him to Sunlight Foundation along with our code. And uh, in October, I'm pleased to announce that Sunlight Foundation will be launching open states where throughout the country you'll be able to uh, look up voting records for people everywhere. And right now there's actually an open API anyone can use. So that's the kind of transparency I've already brought to government and I want to keep bringing to government.